All right. Okay, so um, I would like to introduce Byron Kinnaird, who is uh, working with me and the rest of the team on the Wellbeing of Architects project, um, co-employed across the Architects Registration Board of New South Wales, a joy to work with. This is Justine Clark. She's the co-founder of Parlour, an extraordinary um, representative and advocate for the profession. And now my colleague Naomi Stead, who is Professor of Architecture from Monash, leading the Wellbeing of Architects Research Project um, and co-founder of Parlour. And why are we here today, Naomi? We're here to celebrate, really. We're here to celebrate the number of people who have completed our major industry survey and also profoundly to thank the people who did. And the number is, Byron? 2,103 people have done the survey so far. And so what's really fantastic, first of all, with that number is that, um, you know, to find research kind of statistical relevance, we needed at least 1,000. And so when we get to 2,000, what's amazing is that we can start to look at more nuanced groups within the participants. So we can start to look at age groups um, as a demographic. We can look at gender, gendered issues. Um, so that's, I think, what's really exciting about this, um, this number. And they're from all across the country, is that right, Byron? They are. So it looks like what's really great, it looks like we've got a really good spread across the states, across the country, which roughly approximates to what we know about those working in the field. Um, the gender split of those who responded was slightly reversed to the population. It was about 60% uh, women and 40% men. Um, but the age group also seems to be really well spread across um, the profession. I mean, 2,000 responses, it's mm. quite overwhelming. And... Um, really revealing and a really important archive. Um, and we feel a pretty intense responsibility to the people who spent their time to complete the survey. I presume you've had a little peek at your results. So what have you, uh, what have you looked at so far and what have, you, um, what have you found that interests you? When we look at the what measures do you take to support your wellbeing, it's very, very interesting, really, because quite a number of people said, I changed jobs. I mean, of course, there are people talking about um, exercise, spending time with family, yoga, mindfulness, um, all of these kinds of activities. But there's also a lot of people talking about what we might say were basic HR practices, like being very careful to not work all weekend or every weekend or at all on the weekend and to set really clear boundaries. Also, a lot of people seeking professional counselling and psychological help, which I think is actually a a very encouraging response because that tells us that we do have a help seeking culture to some extent already, which is exactly what we want to encourage. What about you, Byron? Have you peaked at any? Yeah, one question I did, I was quite interested um, right at the end of this section, we asked a lot about um, people's experience of architectural education. What was interesting already is I think those who had studied more recently are, are clearly having a different experience already. And part of that is just an awareness and an openness to discuss issues of well-being and what impacts um, they might be coming across because of their studies. Okay, what else do you have to tell us? Anything else to tell us? Well, I mean, it might be worth noting that um, we did have some anecdotal reports coming back to us during the survey that some people had found it a um, fairly confronting experience. So obviously we we're very sorry to hear that and um, concerned for those individuals and obviously hope they're okay. But I guess the thing to try and point out to everybody who completed the survey, who we thank very much again, is that they really are contributing to try and improve the situation. So making a positive step to um, share your experiences, hopefully, will lead to the kind of systemic change that people are calling for overwhelmingly. And being part of that change, hopefully, is a positive thing. Mm. So what other opportunities are there going to be for people to contribute um, over the life of the project? We're about to release, probably in the coming few weeks, a student-focused survey. And then later in this year, we're planning to um, arrange a series of focus groups, which will be um, mixed focus groups of representatives across the profession from different age groups and types of work. Um, and so that will be a really um, valuable place to gather um, a wide range of voices in a lot more detail and a lot more sort of um, discursive way, I suppose, than the survey was able to capture. I think that's it. Do you right. want to add anything, Byron? No, just to say thank you. And thanks to everyone, obviously, that has provided responses to the survey. It's, it's, the, it's super generous and um, yeah, it's, it's going to make a huge difference, I hope. 
statistics. Yeah, so. I thought we were we were aiming to have more than a thousand. And Byron thought we'd get to two thousand. I thought, no, that won't happen. <laughs> and here we are. It's quite extraordinary. <laughs>